All right, so we have our game here, cruising along, and now we need an ending of some sort so that when this character gets all the way to the end, uh, he is able to go up to the next level. To do that, you'll head back to our usual place here, and you'll make sure that you create another level. I think you've probably already done that, but if you haven't, take a moment now, hit pause, and create level two. All right, so here's level two here, and what I want is for a flag. You can have whatever you want, but I'm gonna use a flag at the end that when you hit the flag, it moves you out to the next level. So you're probably guessing right now how I'm gonna do this, and it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna head into actors, I'm gonna create a new actor, and I'm gonna call it uh, next level. Then I've already had the image, and I've, I'll have this available for you on the website for a Thailand flag, right? What could be better than that? I'll put that there. And then the size, I want it to like cover most of the far right side, right? So when people are playing this game, I want them to, when they get all the way to the end, I want it to cover all of that area pretty much so that it's pretty easy to hit the flag. You can make it more difficult in things if you want to, and you can also, there's things we can do with points and all that, depending on where they hit the flag, kind of like in Mario Brothers. Anyways. Let's, uh, we got that there, and I want the size to be 500 by 750. So it's important that it's tall. All right, and then I'll go to the scene, and level two, back to actor, excuse me, level one, right? Level one, back to actor here, and then here's the next level one. So I'll, whoops, go back to scene again. Level one, actors. And then I'll need to drag this all the way to the right here. And now I can put this on here. And there it is right there. Let's make sure it fits where I want it to fit. I think probably right about there would be okay. It's probably underneath it would be, uh, I won't need it down below. So you may have to adjust the size as you want, but this seems to be about the right size here right now. There we go. Now let's add some code to it. So I'm gonna go to the actor and then we're gonna uh, add a rule. And so add a rule here. Oops, I'm sorry, let me trash this rule, my bad. We're gonna go to the player, right? And we're gonna have a, a new rule where it changes level. And we should be able to copy and paste this rule over and over in our future level as, as well. So always remember the power of copying and pasting. So I'm gonna close a lot of stuff here just to make it cleaner. And we'll create our new rule. And this rule should go down here. And the sound needs to go up here. And there we go. Let me actually undo because I made a bit of a mess there before I added that rule. Here we go. So I have my play sound down here and I'm gonna put the rule down below it. And I'll tell you what, I'll just type rule here. It's being a bit of a pain. There we go. Okay, got it. Rule. All right, so actor receives overlaps or collides with actor of type and that's gonna be the flag, right? So if I called it next level, then it's a change. Scene. Now you can actually, you can name the scene if you wanted to, to level uh, two, but I think it's easier if you just do next scene. So that'll be important later on that you line your scenes up in correct order here, that you don't have like a you win scene in between or something like that. So that should switch it then to the next scene automatically. Let's test that out and see what happens. So here we go. Moving along, jumping. Got my cool music going. Jumping over that guy and my jump sounds. And there's my jump there. And one more jump. I think a flag's gonna be here in a second, right? I guess I get to fall down to that and jump up and there you go. I switched right to the next level there. Okay, all right, try it out.